my religion tells me who created the universe. My science tells me how he did it. Guy Consolmagno is a Jesuit brother, theologian, and accomplished scientist with advanced degrees from MIT and Harvard. He also holds title. another distinctive title, the director of the Vatican Observatory. He's known as the Pope's astronomer. He's a lovely, lovely man. What you see on TV is what he is in real life. In 1582, Pope Gregory hired astronomers to create the calendar. Astronomy was originally used to keep track of time, keep track of calendars. By the end of the 19th century, Pope Leo had the Vatican Observatory built. The Pope wanted to show that the church embraced science. Please join me in warmly welcoming to the stage, Brother Guy Consolmagno. Brother Guy, as he likes to be called, on this night is sharing his passion for science and spirituality with Catholic high school students at the Sheen Center for Thought and Culture. Pope Francis was trained as a chemist, so he really has a sort of a scientific background. Oh, and he's a Jesuit. Science has to be fun. I hope religion is fun. I'm a firm believer that joy is a sign of God's presence. I want to start first with your story. He's as firm a believer in science as he is in his Catholic faith. God existed before creation existed, which is to say before space and time. Brother Guy told the crowd here at the Sheen Center that he considers science a form of worship. And when he's not in Italy at the Vatican Observatory, he also oversees the Vatican Observatory in Arizona. Among the many things the Advanced Technology Telescope here helps scientists do is measure and track shooting stars. Vatican scientists also share their findings with scientists around the world. Everybody wants to know if there's life in the universe. I want to know if there's life in the universe. I don't know. We don't know yet. Even though Brother Guy is an astronomer, he doesn't necessarily believe that heaven is only in the stars. Heaven's not a place. Heaven is the presence of God. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.